going on YouTube? We're gonna do a uh, unboxing of this DC Audio 5K today. It's been a little while since I posted an update, so we're gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna work on. Uh, if you haven't, please visit the website, jeepandbass.com. You can order your DC Audio products. We've got full throttle, some box designs. You can see some of my build logs on here. Um, and of course, information on the Jeep. So, uh, check that out. Today we're going to be checking out this 5K here. Um, this is a box that comes in and we're just going to start tearing at this thing. This is a part of the new build or kind of upgrade to my build in my Jeep. So uh, I'm just going to open this guy as best we can with one hand and show you what you get. Um, I sell the DC 5K on my website for uh, $1,480. You can pick this guy up and I do free shipping. So hopefully you guys come shop with me. All proceeds go to the YouTube channel and help grow it. Alright. So once you get the first box open, you're down to another box. And uh, looks like we're backwards, but I'm gonna flip this open. Actually, I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so this is our second box. Got your uh, barcode and everything, what it is right here. And then this tab will flip open and up. And we get a third box. So these are packaged pretty well. And uh, let me go ahead and open this third box. Okay, so uh, let's check out the amp here. This is what you're gonna receive when you order one of these guys. So we'll open this box real nicely. So this is the DC Audio 5K, pretty long amp. Big, uh, roughly 22 inches long, give or take. Here's my hand. Um, so what you're gonna notice is if you lift up the left side here, you get your base remote cable and the remote base knob and a pair of Allen keys for the amp. And these 5Ks use the clip light indicator on the base knob, so it's really handy. And there's your base control. So those are the accessories that come with the amp here. Uh, nothing should be over here on this side. Uh, so now we're gonna lift the amp up out of the box. And uh, one-handedly, should be fun because I don't have my tripod. So we're getting this guy out. I'm gonna get the box out of the way and come back. All right, so once you pulled your amp out, you're gonna find your uh, owner's manual here. Check this out real fast. Uh, this owner manual covers all the DC amplifiers, um, different wiring schemes, the ratings. So if we check out the 5K here, we see that it makes 900 watts RMS at four ohms, 2300 watts at two ohms, and at one ohm, 5000. And then this amplifier is good to go up to 18 volts. And you can see it makes up to 7300 watts RMS. These are your input sensitivities. That's your voltage coming out of the head unit going into the amplifier at the RCA inputs. And then these are your filter settings uh, you got the bass boost, your phase adjustment, and uh, overall frequency response. These are monoblock bass amps, so 15 to 270 hertz is plenty. Signal noise ratio, that's pretty good. And efficiency at 4 ohm is over 90%. And I have seen tests of this being proven. Uh, you can look up dynos on the 5K online. And then uh, some of the other little bits of information should have about 500 amps of fusing for this guy. So, there's all the uh, different specs. So this is our manual for the most part. Let's show you how to wire up. Uh, also strap the amp, these are strappable. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. And let's check out the amp itself now. Uh, it comes in this plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and we'll get a good look at it. Okay, so let's check out the DC 5K here. This is pretty much like all their other amplifiers as far as the uh, scheme goes. 
for the, uh, the looks of it. It's a black amplifier with the aluminum bus bars kind of strapped across it with the white lettering. These are really clean and uh, I like the look of them. They look good in most installs. So let's go check out the right side here. This is going to be your power input side. You get the uh, two sets of inputs for this. Zero gauge. You get your uh, remote wire input and then your speaker outputs in the center here. These are all set screws. And of course the uh, provided Allen keys are for those specifically. So it's a real clean setup. It's always good to have uh, dual input terminals on these or at least the uh, single aluminum inputs that helps really clean up the install and get the power, a little more power to the amp. Um, if we check out this side of the amp, we're gonna see our input RCAs and output RCAs. These are essentially a pass through, so if you wanna link some amps together, um, you know, without not strapping, but just borrowing signals so you don't have to run a bunch of splitters, uh, that will be a pass through. So you basically have an extra set of RCAs ready to go out of the amp that way. And then uh, moving over here, we have our protect and power light. We have our gain settings, subsonic, bass boost, this is where your remote cable goes in. And then you have low pass filter in a phase. And then this is your selectable output. Uh, you always want to have this on master output uh, when it's by itself. And if you do happen to strap them, you put it on slave if it's the slave amp and uh, the master amp says master. If these things are individual, which is how I like to run them, uh, you always keep them in master mode and they get their own signal and you have to individually tune them. If you are strapping these amps, uh, it says in the manual how to do so, and you will run an RCA to this guy, and then uh, you can link them. So that's how you run those. You gotta double check when you get these that uh, that's in master mode if you're not strapping, because you'll have problems. So that's kind of the overall of the amp there. Come over here in the heat sink, see the nice lettering, and the uh, nice finish on this thing. Really pretty. Uh, here's the heat sink. That's going to dissipate all that heat away from the amplifier. So you want to keep those out in the open if you can. And I also like to to raise the amp up a little bit um, off the mounting surface. So if you go to a, any hardware store, you can get little spacers. Um, they're like little tube looking things and uh, space this amp up and give it some breathing room. If we go check out the bottom side, the reason I like to do that is these vents a little bit of heat escape from the board. Uh, this is your warranty information. So if this has uh, been clearly ripped or torn, you know that the amp's been tampered with and uh, it's usually not good and you void the warranty or uh, something's gone on with the amp. So there's that sticker again. It's a good thing to write these numbers down in case your amps get stolen or something happens. You at least have the information and you can track it down hopefully. I've seen it happen. So here's our other warranty sticker. So um, that's pretty much the most part of the amp. I would open it up except that I don't want to avoid the warranty on this thing. But uh, you can look up on their website or on my website and uh, let's check it out. So this is jeepandbass.com. If we go to DC Audio and we're going to go amps and then have listed here all the amplifiers available. And here's our 5K at 1480 shipped. And here is a picture of the internals. This is a really well laid out amp, very powerful, very well built. And uh, again, I list all my specs here. And here's our dimensions. So uh, if you haven't checked out the website, please do. You can order DC Audio products there, such as this amplifier. This is a very solid, good amp, and it does well overrated with uh, the appropriate electrical setup. So we'll be running a few of these in the Jeep. So I'm gonna go line them all up and show you guys. All right, here's the lineup of the three 5Ks we'll be running. If you guys have not checked out the Jeep build, please go check out some videos. Got them all over the channel. We were previously running three three and a half Ks, so we've swapped up to bigger amps and we're doing some other work. So we'll have update videos coming soon. But I wanted to show you guys the amps tonight and uh, give you a little preview of what we're doing. So we have a lot of 
wiring to do, and I'm gonna guide, I'm gonna pretty much guide you guys through some little tricks that I do on wiring, um, just to make things cleanlier. I use all Sky High OFC wire. Well, I'm switching to that. I've been running CCA for a long time, and uh, we're gonna be running OFC and get some good juice to these guys. And uh, yeah, so it should be pretty interesting. We're running 612s on these. And uh, pretty excited. All right, so that concludes this video. A little bit of an unboxing and look around at the 5K. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and left a comment. I always appreciate that. And stay tuned. And if you haven't checked out the website, please do. That's jeepandbass.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at too loud for you. Link in the description. We could always use more followers. So. Till next time, guys. Be sure to check out the website, jeepandbass.com. We have all your product needs here from DC Audio to custom build options for those subs. We have some full throttle batteries available, box designs, and decals all here. And there's plenty more information on the website, so please come check that out. And then make sure you hit this bell notification so you always get the updates when I post videos. So that's going to be right over here. So thanks guys. Please like and subscribe and appreciate it.